Okay, so um, this is my walkthrough of my studio. When you first walk in the door, you see some of my paintings. I'm just like a kindergarten kid. I have to have them up where I can look at them. Um, I think part of that's because I'm afraid nobody else will look at them. <laughs> anyway, just kind of give you a little close-up of some of them. Maybe you've seen them before. I don't know. I post most of them on Facebook, um, so if you're on Facebook, you might have seen them. That's kind of a stormy sky one. That's one of my early attempts at blue bonnets. And that's a sunrise that Lacey sent me from their vacation just the other day. And I have all kinds of like things that I've collected to um, someday, you know, set out and paint. So, I store um, books and papers and stuff there. And there's a bunch of papers. These, um, the two framed ones in front are going to the exhibit. The two in back um, are not going to the exhibit. They're hopefully going to go to the gallery, um, the Guild Gallery, when it, in August, whenever I'm allowed to put stuff up there. These um, are my pastels. I try to keep them clean and in order because it makes it faster to paint. And if you will just walk around, there's my stereo where I get my music. There's my little fan. Keeps me cool. And um, there's my easel that I work at. And then that's the door that I came in by. And then over here, there's my new IKEA light that I'm really pleased about because I can make the lights go in different directions and stuff so I can now do still lifes and light them myself. Um, I have this little organ out because um, I have it. It was mine when I was a kid and I hope to do some kind of a music painting soon so I took it down from where it's stored and put it out here um, just the other day. So I mean just yesterday so I'll get around to making some kind of a still life with that and trying to paint it. Um, this is a table where I cut my paper. There's a big roll of sandpaper back there. Um, it's not just sandpaper like from the um, hardware store. It's special. but um, And then this is a table that I actually bought for Lilla Rose, but it and the, the second one <laughs> um, have been pressed into use in my studio instead and then I have I bought a cutting mat for cutting the paper what you're looking at right there are some pastels that I made from leftover uh, dust you can just remake them and um, yes they're kind of grayed and neutral but you need a lot of grays and neutrals when you're painting so those are going to be fun to try to use and then there's my next piece which I'm actually um, using my watercolor pencils on to do an underpainting. I have frames stored back there. I have I have more paintings stuck up there. Okay, there's not as many as there was, but there's still some. Um, yeah, so that's my studio and like I said, I'm kind of sad that you don't get to see it, but maybe with this Oh, let me, um, I forgot to shut the door because <laughs> there's another painting that I did really happy with except for that the pot is aiming out instead of in. And then on the back of the door is also some more, some more of my paintings. There's a road, a sea, um, scape beachscape I guess. There's my flowers. There's the actual uh, painting that I did. The other one that you saw is bigger but it's just on regular paper. It was just a, like a thing that I decided to try. 
That's a bad one, but it was fun to do. These are the blue bonnets. Yeah, another beachscape that that was my very first beachscape. It was bad. And some more blue bonnets. And a sunrise I got off the internet, which has some major problems that needs to be thrown away. <laughs> anyway, so so I hope you enjoyed seeing my studio.